So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in Z W Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up, YouTube? This is Joe from Z4 Games, and I'm bringing to you guys a really fun free card combo that ends on the free Super Doom King, sets them all up on your first turn, and or any turn for that matter. So as you open up with these free cards, you can perform this combo, which sets up all three Super Doom Kings. Very, very cool, very, very easy, and just very, very fun. This is more for the fun variant build, um, which I mentioned in one of my profiles. Um, you have like your competitive builds, which just focus on high tournament play, like using using the DD leagues to make really cool, really crazy boards, like just outstanding boards. This build, this combo is more for that fun variant, which just you can literally have the whole extra deck just with 15 DDD cards. Just all have your main deck and your deck just built around those kind of plays. Just punching your opponent essentially for damage and just controlling the board in the way that DDDs can do in a more pure sense. So this combo is for that build and for that um, what sort of play style and mindset as well. So hope you guys enjoy it and if you do please leave a like, please leave a comment down below and please subscribe to the channel. All that supports us and gives us the support that we need to bring you guys combos videos deck profiles all everything you name it news and everything so please show us that love and support by smashing that like button and that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of that stuff so well as and done let's start off we're using swirl sign to fuse with copernicus from hand to make flame king games you're then going to summon your Night Howl and use its effect to revive your Copernicus. You're now going to go Copernicus to use its effect to send from deck to graveyard, not Necroslime, but Kepler. Very weird already. So now you're going to use your Night Howl and your Copernicus to synchro summon into Gust King Alexander. You're going to go Plain King Genghis effect to summon out Copernicus. Now you've got chain link one Gus King Alexander and chain link two Kepler. Kepler is going to add you your Swamp King to hand. And then Gus King Alexander is going to summon back the Night Hound. You're then going to tune your Gus King Alexander and your Night Hound into your first Super Doom King. Bright Armageddon. You are then going to activate your Swamp King and use its effect to fuse your Gus King Alexander and your Spore Sign from Grave to make your High Flame King. You are then going to link your Flame King Genghis and your Kepler into DDD Abyss King Gilgamesh. You're now going to go Gilgamesh Chain Link 1 to uh, set 2 in scale and then flame, High Flame King Chain Link 2 to revive a card. So you're going to revive your Genghis and then Gilgamesh is going to place in scale Orphros and Thomas. I'm just going to put these there so you, just, so you can see what's on the field. You're now going to go use Orphros' effect to target your Thomas and your Gilgamesh and destroy them both. It doesn't have to be Gilgamesh though, it can be Flame King, but I'm gonna but yeah I will destroy Flame King. I'll destroy Flame King instead. Pop pop. So those two are popped. In fact, before <laughs> I'm going one step ahead here. Uh, before you do that, use Thomas' effect to add the Kepler from extra to hand, then you're going to use the Orphos to pop the Thomas and the Genghis. That's that. Now Thomas goes to your extra Genghis and some grip. You now set your Kepler in scale and use your scales to pendulum summon out your Thomas. You're now going to use Thomas' effect to pop the Kepler from scale and summon out your DDD Abyss uh, King Ragnarok. 
you're now going to use your Ragnarok and your High Flanking Genghis to overlay into your DDD Darkness Armageddon. And that's the combo, guys. It doesn't end on all three, but what it does do is sets up your third one as well. Because your Purplish Armageddon just takes two Triple D monsters. So you've got, then the way you set it up is that you searched your Swamp King. By doing that, you, they're either going to kill the Gilgamesh, summoning out your Purple Armageddon if you want to, from your extra deck for free. Or, you, then don't do anything, pass turn, do whatever they do. And then on your turn, you're going to activate your Swamp King. And you're going to fuse your Abyss, Gilgamesh, and your Genghis from Grave. You're going to use those and bring out your purple Armageddon. Simple as that. Sets up everything for you. Just three easy cards, free card combo that sets up everything for you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very fun, not exactly competitive, but it's a more fun variant. It's just to show you guys that there's more to DDs that just, than just meta play. The DD is a very fun deck that you can play and just pick up for for quite cheap actually. The very core essence of the deck, in terms of a more fun variant, you can pick up very very cheaply. I think the most expensive card in the deck is things like your uh, DD Lamia, I believe, and quite possibly no, that's literally it. Every and uh, your Kaliuga. Kaliuga is on about the five pound range. That's your highest priced card um, in your deck. So pick this guy, pick this up, have some fun, enjoy the deck, and just experiment, experiment, experiment. That's just all you can do with DDs. And I will be bringing you guys more combos, more deck profiles, and everything for this deck because it's the only thing on my mind at the moment. It's the only thing I actually aim to play. So. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, as always, happy dawning.